Hey everyone, welcome back to Stoicism 2.0. Today we're diving into a topic that can truly transform the way you approach life. We're talking about the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and how it holds the key to mastering the art of not caring. Now you might be wondering, why Stoicism in today's fast-paced world? Well, my friends, Stoicism isn't just an ancient philosophy. It's a practical guide to navigating the challenges of our modern lives. In a world filled with constant noise, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate resilience and tranquility. Before we dive into the 11 Stoic principles, let's set the stage. We're not talking about indifference or apathy here. Instead, it's about developing a mindset that allows you to focus on what truly matters, letting go of unnecessary burdens, and finding peace within yourself. So, if you're ready to explore these stoic principles and unlock a new way of approaching life, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's jump into the transformative world of stoicism. Number 1. Understanding the Dichotomy of Control The dichotomy of control refers to a fundamental principle in stoic philosophy, emphasizing the distinction between things we can control and those we cannot. This principle encourages us to focus our energy and attention on the controllable aspects of our lives, thereby reducing stress and cultivating inner peace. Defining the principle. Focusing on what's within our control means prioritizing our thoughts, actions, and reactions. This includes our judgment, desires, and intentions. While we cannot control external factors like natural disasters, the actions of others, or the weather, we can control how we perceive and respond to them. Real-life examples and anecdotes. Traffic jam. Imagine stuck in a traffic jam. Frustration and anger are natural reactions, but they only worsen the situation. Instead, focusing on what you can control, like listening to audiobooks or practicing mindfulness exercises, can turn a stressful situation into an opportunity for personal growth. Job interview. Feeling nervous before a job interview is understandable. However, focusing on your preparation, practice, and positive self-talk, rather than the outcome, can significantly reduce anxiety and improve your performance. Relationship conflict. During a disagreement with a loved one, focusing on your own communication and emotional regulation, instead of trying to control the other person's behavior, can lead to more productive dialogue and a stronger relationship. Impact on reducing stress. By focusing on what we can control, we avoid wasting energy on things beyond our influence. This reduces stress and anxiety, leading to greater emotional well-being and resilience. It also empowers individuals to take responsibility for their own happiness and fulfillment, fostering a sense of agency and control over their lives. Additional benefits. Improved decision-making. Increased productivity. Enhanced focus and concentration. Stronger sense of purpose and meaning. Deeper self-awareness. By embracing the dichotomy of control, we can cultivate a more peaceful and fulfilling life by accepting what we cannot change and focusing our efforts on what we can. Number two, practice negative visualization. Negative visualization, also known as premeditatio malorum in Stoic philosophy, encourages us to regularly imagine potential negative events that could occur in our lives. While seemingly counterintuitive, this practice offers surprising benefits for our mental well-being and emotional resilience. Concept of Worst Case Scenarios Negative visualization involves deliberately thinking about the worst possible outcomes of situations we are anticipating or currently facing. This includes imagining Losing loved ones Experiencing illness or injury Facing personal or professional setbacks Encountering financial difficulties Living with disappointment or failure while initially uncomfortable, this exercise helps us confront our fears and anxieties in a safe space. By visualizing the worst-case scenario, we become mentally prepared to handle it if it ever arises, fostering gratitude for the present. By considering the potential absence of the things we value most, negative visualization can deepen our appreciation for the present. We come to realize that our health, 
Relationships and accomplishments are not guaranteed, prompting us to cherish them more fully. This shift in perspective can lead to increased contentment and satisfaction with our current circumstances. Less attachment to future outcomes. Negative visualization helps us detach from desired outcomes and cultivate a sense of equanimity. By acknowledging the uncertainty of life and the possibility of things not going according to plan, we can reduce our attachment to specific results and become less susceptible to disappointment. This allows us to approach challenges and setbacks with greater acceptance and resilience. Benefits of Negative Visualization Increased Mental Preparedness Reduced Anxiety and Fear Enhanced Ability to Cope with Adversity Deeper Appreciation for the Present Moment Less Attachment to Desired Outcomes Greater Sense of Control and Agency Examples of Negative Visualization Imagining a Missed Deadline and its potential consequences. Picturing yourself recovering from an illness or injury. Visualizing the loss of a job and preparing for alternative scenarios. Envisioning the disappointment of a specific outcome and accepting it. Practicing negative visualization. Dedicate a short time daily or weekly to this practice. Start with visualizing minor setbacks and gradually increase the intensity. Focus on your emotions and reactions during the visualization. Use the experience to cultivate gratitude for the present and detach from desired outcomes. Remember, this practice is not about dwelling on negativity, but about preparing for the unexpected and appreciating what you have. Negative visualization, though initially challenging, is a powerful tool for managing stress, fostering gratitude, and building mental resilience. Number three. Embrace virtue as the highest good. Stoicism places profound importance on virtue as the ultimate source of happiness and fulfillment. The four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, serve as pillars of Stoic philosophy, guiding individuals towards a life of meaning and inner peace. The four Stoic virtues. 1. Wisdom represents the ability to discern right from wrong understand nature's laws, and make sound judgments based on reason and logic. It involves critical thinking, self-reflection, and a commitment to learning and personal growth. By cultivating wisdom, we develop a deeper understanding of ourselves, our place in the world, and how to navigate life's challenges. 2. Courage Encompasses the strength and fortitude to face adversity, overcome fear, and act with conviction even in difficult situations. It involves perseverance, resilience, and the ability to take risks and stand up for what we believe in. By embracing courage, we develop the inner strength to overcome obstacles and navigate life's uncertainties with confidence and determination. 3. Justice represents fairness, impartiality, and treating others with respect and dignity. It involves acting in accordance with reason and universal principles, upholding the law, and promoting ethical behavior. By embodying justice, we foster social harmony, build trust, and contribute to a more just and equitable world. 4. Temperance Represents self-control, moderation, and the ability to manage our desires and emotions. It involves avoiding excess, practicing delayed gratification, and living a balanced life. By embracing temperance, we cultivate inner peace, avoid impulsive actions, and make informed decisions based on reason rather than fleeting emotions. Impact on decision-making and emotional well-being. These four interconnected virtues act as a compass for navigating life's challenges. By striving to embody them, we can make sound decisions based on reason and logic, leading to better outcomes develop emotional resilience, and manage difficult situations with calm and composure. Foster deeper connections with others by acting with fairness, respect, and compassion. Cultivate inner peace and contentment by detaching from external desires and focusing on what truly matters. Achieve a sense of purpose and fulfillment by contributing to the well-being of ourselves and others. By embracing virtue as the highest good, we shift our focus from external validation and material possessions to the cultivation of our inner character. 
This inward journey leads to a more meaningful and fulfilling life, characterized by emotional well-being, resilience, and a sense of purpose. Number 4. Accepting Impermanence A Stoic Approach to Resilience One of the core tenets of Stoicism is the acceptance of impermanence. Everything, from physical objects to relationships, and even our own lives, is subject to change and eventual decay. Recognizing this transient nature can be a powerful tool for building resilience and finding peace in the face of life's uncertainties. Stoic Teachings on Impermanence Heraclitus's River This famous analogy compares life to a flowing river, where everything is constantly changing and evolving. Just as you cannot step into the same river twice, we cannot recreate the moments of our lives. Memento mori the Latin phrase translates to remember, you must die. This stark reminder encourages us to live each day to the fullest and appreciate the preciousness of life, knowing it is finite. The dichotomy of control. Stoicism distinguishes between things within our control, our thoughts, actions, and reactions, and things beyond our control, external events, the behavior of others, and the passage of time. Accepting what we cannot change and focusing on what we can control reduces anxiety and allows us to navigate life's uncertainties with greater equanimity. Practical Tips for Embracing Impermanence Practice Mindfulness Pay attention to the present moment and the ever-changing nature of your thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations. Let go of attachments. Recognize that clinging to things we cannot control only leads to suffering. Release your expectations and attachments to outcomes, allowing yourself to flow with the current of life. Focus on the journey. Instead of fixating on achieving specific goals or outcomes, find satisfaction and meaning in the process itself. Appreciate the experiences, challenges, and lessons learned along the way. Be grateful for what you have. Cultivate an attitude of gratitude for the good things in your life, both big and small. This helps us appreciate the present moment and find joy even in fleeting experiences. Embrace change. Embrace the fact that change is inevitable and can be a source of new opportunities and growth. Be open to adapting to different situations and learning from new experiences. Practice negative visualization. Regularly consider potential worst-case scenarios, not to dwell on negativity, but to prepare yourself mentally and emotionally for challenges and setbacks. Live in accordance with nature. Recognize that impermanence is a natural law, like the changing seasons. Aligning yourself with the natural flow of life can bring a sense of peace and acceptance. Benefits of embracing impermanence. Reduced anxiety and stress. Increased resilience and adaptability. Enhanced appreciation for the present moment. Greater sense of peace and contentment. Deeper connection with the natural world. Freedom from attachment and fear of loss. Number 5. Memento Mori. Remembering death to live more fully. Memento Mori, Latin for remember, you must die, is a powerful concept in Stoic philosophy. It encourages us to confront the inevitability of death not as a source of fear, but as a catalyst for living a more meaningful life. Why reflect on mortality? Breaking illusions. By acknowledging the finite nature of life, we break free from the illusion of permanence and control. We recognize that time is precious and shouldn't be wasted on trivialities. Sharpening priorities. Contemplating death helps us prioritize what truly matters. It prompts us to examine our values, goals, and relationships, ensuring they align with our deepest desires. Focusing on what we can control, instead of obsessing over the uncontrollable, egg death, the actions of others, we shift our focus to what we can control, our thoughts, actions, and reactions. This empowers us to take responsibility for our lives and shape our own destiny. How does memento mori lead to a more meaningful life? Increased gratitude. Recognizing the preciousness of life fosters a deep sense of gratitude for the present moment. We learn to appreciate the simple joys and savor each experience fully. Enhanced courage. Facing our own mortality instills courage 
and a willingness to take risks. We become less afraid of failure and more focused on pursuing our passions and dreams. Deeper Relationships Memento Mori encourages us to nurture our relationships and cherish our loved ones. We realize that these bonds are fleeting and precious, motivating us to invest more time and energy into them. Positive Impact Knowing that our time is limited inspires us to make a positive impact on the world while we still can. We strive to leave a lasting legacy and contribute to something greater than ourselves. Living each day to the fullest. Memento Mori isn't about dwelling on death. It's about living each day to the fullest. It encourages us to be present in the moment, embrace the here and now, and find joy in the simple pleasures of life. Memento Mori, as a reminder of shared humanity. Contemplating death reminds us that we are all mortal interconnected beings. This fosters compassion, understanding, and a sense of universal brotherhood. We learn to treat each other with kindness and respect, forgiving past transgressions, and move forward together. Build strong and healthy communities. Celebrate the diversity and richness of human experience. Memento Mori is not a morbid practice. It is a powerful tool for living a more meaningful and fulfilling life. By contemplating our mortality, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves, our values, and our place in the world. We learn to prioritize what truly matters, let go of distractions, and focus on living each day to the fullest. So remember, Memento Mori, and go out there and live your life with purpose and passion. Number 6. Developing Inner Resilience Embracing Stoicism for a Fortified Mind The world throws curveballs, and navigating life's challenges can be daunting. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, offers a valuable framework for developing inner resilience, the mental fortitude to bounce back from adversity and thrive in the face of challenges. Stoic Teachings for Building Resilience Dichotomy of Control Distinguish between what you can control, thoughts, actions, reactions, and what you cannot, external events, others' behaviors. Focus your energy on the former, accepting the latter with equanimity. Amor Fadi. Embrace the principle of love of fate, accepting life's events as they unfold. This doesn't mean passivity. It's about finding meaning and purpose even in challenging situations. Negative Visualization. Practice imagining worst-case scenarios to mentally prepare for potential setbacks. This reduces anxiety and allows you to respond calmly and effectively when faced with adversity. Memento Mori. Reflecting on your mortality reminds you of the transient nature of life. This can help you prioritize what truly matters and let go of trivial concerns, fostering greater resilience. Focus on virtues. Cultivate wisdom. Courage justice, and temperance. These virtues provide a moral compass, guiding your actions and decisions even in difficult circumstances. Practical Exercises for Building Resilience Journaling Reflect on your thoughts and emotions, identifying patterns, and developing self-awareness. Gratitude Practice Regularly appreciate the good things in your life, cultivating a positive outlook, and shifting your focus away from negativity. Mindfulness Meditation Train your attention to the present moment, reducing stress and anxiety, and improving your ability to cope with challenging situations. Physical Exercise Engaging in regular physical activity releases endorphins, boosts self-esteem, and improves stress management. Challenge yourself. Step outside your comfort zone by taking on new challenges and learning from your experiences. Mindset Shifts for Enhanced Resilience Reframe Challenges View challenges as opportunities for growth and learning instead of insurmountable obstacles. Focus on progress, not perfection. Embrace the journey of growth and celebrate small victories rather than obsessing over achieving perfection. Develop a growth mindset. Believe that your abilities and skills can be developed over time through effort and perseverance. Embrace uncertainty, accept that life is unpredictable, and learn to adapt to changing circumstances with flexibility and resilience. Seek support. Build a strong network of friends, 
family, and mentors who can provide encouragement and guidance during difficult times. By integrating Stoic philosophy and these practical exercises into your daily life, you can cultivate inner resilience and navigate life's challenges with greater strength, wisdom, and peace of mind. Remember, the path to resilience is a journey, not a destination. Number 7. Amor Fadi Embracing and loving whatever happens. Amor Fadi, a Latin phrase meaning love of fate, is a core concept in Stoic philosophy. It encourages individuals to transcend negativity and cultivate a positive attitude towards life's events, even the challenging ones. It's not about passive acceptance, but rather about actively choosing to see the good in everything that happens, both good and bad. Understanding Amor Fadi Acceptance Amor Fadi starts with accepting that life is inherently unpredictable and outside of our complete control. Instead of resisting what we cannot change, we choose to accept it with grace and equanimity. Finding Meaning Amor Fadi encourages us to seek meaning and purpose in all experiences, even those considered negative. By looking for lessons, opportunities for growth, and silver linings, we can transform adversity into a catalyst for personal development. Inner Peace Amor Fadi is not about suppressing emotions or pretending everything is perfect. It's about cultivating inner peace by not allowing external events to dictate our internal state. We learn to control our reactions and responses, leading to a more peaceful and stable mind. Focusing on the Present Amor Fadi promotes focusing on the present moment instead of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. By appreciating the present moment and trusting that things will unfold as they should, we can live more fully and with less anxiety. Stories of Amor Fadi in Action Stephen Hawking Diagnosed with ALS at 21, Hawking defied expectations and became a renowned physicist and author. He embraced his limitations and used his intellect to make significant contributions to science, demonstrating the power of Amor Fadi in the face of insurmountable odds. Nick Vujicic Born with Tetra Amelia Syndrome, Nick lacked four limbs. Despite this physical limitation, he became a successful motivational speaker and author, inspiring millions with his message of hope and resilience. His life exemplifies the power of Amor Fadi in overcoming adversity and achieving great things. Viktor Frankl a Holocaust survivor, Frankel developed logotherapy, a form of psychotherapy based on finding meaning in suffering. He believed that even in the face of unimaginable hardship, humans have the freedom to choose their attitude and find purpose in their experiences. Embracing Amor Fadi in your life. Practice gratitude. Regularly appreciate the good things in your life, regardless of your circumstances. Reframe challenges. View challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, not obstacles to overcome. Focus on your values. Make decisions and act in alignment with your values, even when faced with difficult choices. Seek support. Build strong relationships with people who can offer encouragement and guidance during difficult times. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself. Acknowledge your struggles and celebrate your successes. Amor Fadi is not a magic pill that eliminates suffering. It's a philosophy for navigating life's inevitable challenges with a sense of purpose, peace, and resilience. By integrating this concept into your life, you can cultivate a more positive outlook, develop inner strength, and ultimately, become the master of your own fate. Number 8. Practicing Mindfulness Stoicism emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment. This practice, known as mindfulness, involves paying close attention to our thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations without judgment or attachment. By focusing on the here and now, we can reduce anxiety, improve our emotional well-being, and make better decisions. Why Mindfulness Matters in Stoicism Reduced Anxiety By focusing on the present moment, we can avoid ruminating on the past or worrying about the future, both of which contribute to anxiety. Enhanced Emotional Well-Being Mindfulness allows us to observe our emotions with detachment, reducing their intensity and enabling us to respond to them more effectively. 
Improved decision-making. When we are present in the moment, we are better able to assess situations clearly and make informed decisions based on reason and logic rather than impulsive reactions. Greater authenticity. By observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and can live more authentically. Simple mindfulness exercises for daily practice. Focus on your breath. Sit comfortably and close your eyes. Pay attention to the sensation of your breath entering and leaving your nostrils or feeling your chest rise and fall. If your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Body scan. Sit or lie comfortably and slowly bring your attention to each part of your body, starting with your toes and working your way up. Notice any sensations such as tightness, tingling or warmth without judgment. Mindful walking. As you walk, pay attention to the sensations of your feet touching the ground, the movement of your legs and the feeling of your body in space. Notice your surroundings without getting lost in thought. Mindful eating. When eating, slow down and savor each bite. Pay attention to the taste, texture and smell of the food. Notice the feeling of your body as you chew and swallow. Mindful journaling. Set aside some time each day to write down your thoughts and emotions without judgment. This can help you identify recurring patterns and gain insight into your mental and emotional state, integrating mindfulness into your daily life. Start small. Begin with a few minutes of mindfulness practice each day and gradually increase the duration as you become more comfortable. Be patient. Cultivating present moment awareness takes time and practice. Don't get discouraged if you find your mind wandering. Simply bring your attention back to the present. Be consistent. Make mindfulness a regular part of your daily routine, just like brushing your teeth or exercising. Be kind to yourself. Remember that everyone struggles with distractions. Treat yourself with compassion and understanding as you learn to be more present. Number 9. The Art of Indifference Stoicism encourages a unique perspective on external events and opinions, known as the art of indifference. This practice isn't about apathy or ignoring the world around us, but rather about cultivating a sense of inner peace by differentiating between what we can control, our thoughts, actions, and reactions, and what we cannot, external events, the behavior of others, and their opinions. Understanding the art of indifference. Dichotomy of control. Stoicism emphasizes the distinction between what we can and cannot control. By focusing our energy on the former, we avoid wasting time and effort on things beyond our influence. Value judgments. Stoics distinguish between preferred and dispreferred things, recognizing that things inherently have no value in themselves. It's our judgments that assign value and create attachment, leading to suffering. External Opinions Stoics recognize that external opinions are subjective and often influenced by biases and perspectives. They choose not to base their self-worth on the approval or disapproval of others. Emotional Detachment By practicing indifference to external events and opinions, Stoics cultivate emotional resilience and avoid being swayed by negative thoughts or judgments. Benefits of the Art of Indifference Reduced Stress and Anxiety By not attaching to external events and opinions, we free ourselves from the constant worry and pressure of external validation. Improved Decision Making When we are not swayed by emotions or external opinions, we are better able to make decisions based on reason and logic. Enhanced Self-Esteem By detaching our self-worth from external judgments, we cultivate a sense of inner confidence and self-acceptance greater inner peace. By practicing indifference, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and tranquility that is not dependent on external circumstances. Strategies for cultivating the art of indifference. Focus on your values. Identify what truly matters to you and align your thoughts, actions, and reactions with those values. Challenge your assumptions. Question your judgments about external events and opinions, recognizing subjectivity and the possibility of different perspectives. Practice mindfulness. Be present in the moment and observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. This allows you to detach from negativity and cultivate emotional resilience.
Embrace negative visualization. Imagine potential negative outcomes and practice accepting them. This reduces anxiety about the future and allows you to focus on what you can control. Seek the company of wise individuals. Surround yourself with people who embody stoic values and can offer support and guidance. Remember, the art of indifference is a journey, not a destination. Number 10. Key Principles of Stoicism for Tranquility Dichotomy of Control Focus on what you can control, your thoughts, actions, and reactions, and accept what you cannot. Amor fati. Embrace and find meaning in whatever life presents, including challenges. Memento mori. Reflect on the impermanence of life to appreciate the present moment and prioritize what truly matters. Virtues. Cultivate wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance to guide your decisions and actions. Mindfulness. Practice present moment awareness to reduce anxiety and improve emotional well-being. Art of indifference. Differentiate between preferred and dispreferred things, recognizing their subjective value and not attaching your self-worth to external opinions. Applying Stoicism for greater tranquility. Start small. Incorporate simple Stoic practices like mindfulness exercises, journaling, and gratitude into your daily life. Read Stoic texts. Immerse yourself in the writings of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus. Seek guidance. Join a Stoic community or find a mentor who can offer support and advice. Be patient and consistent. Cultivating Stoic tranquility is a lifelong journey, so be patient with yourself and continue to practice consistently. Remember, Stoicism is not about suppressing emotions or living a joyless life. It's about cultivating inner strength, resilience, and peace of mind to navigate life's challenges and find true fulfillment and happiness. By integrating these principles into your life, you can experience a greater sense of tranquility and navigate the world with wisdom and grace. Number 11. Conclusion. All right, my friends, we've covered a lot today, exploring these 11 stoic principles to master the art of not caring. I hope you found these insights as valuable as I have. From understanding the dichotomy of control to practicing negative visualization, embracing virtue, and remembering our mortality with memento mori. These stoic principles offer us a roadmap to navigate life with grace and resilience. If you enjoyed today's video and found value in these stoic principles, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content on personal development and philosophy. I'd love to have you as part of our growing community. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Your support means the world, and I look forward to our continued journey of growth together. Until next time, stay mindful, stay resilient, and take care.